Trading and investing is not easy. However, when you come to TradingView.com, hover your mouse over the More button and then click our Help Center. Now, once you're in our Help Center, you are going to find the resources you need to mastering the TradingView platform, whether it is getting more data, accessing the chart, learning about indicators, learning, learning about drawing tools, and all of these other topics that you see here. So this is the TradingView Help Center. We want to walk you through it. The first thing you should take note of is the search box right here at the top. Say you have a question about volatility. Well, go ahead and type that term in and you will see this drop down appear before your eyes. Select the drop down item that looks relevant to you. For example, we can click historical volatility and now we are on the TradingView Help Center page for all things historical volatility. We can read about historical volatility by scrolling down the page. We also have this wonderful video right here that we can click play on, sit back and watch. And we can read and watch at the same time if we wish. The point is there is a learning mechanism here for everyone. What is also very important about the Help Center is the categories that you have right here below. So find the category that is relevant to you. Say you have a question about data. You're wondering, how can I get real-time data on TradingView? Well, it says data, so click it. Now, once you've clicked that, you can see here there are different articles and subjects. And you can see that there are articles even listed. For example, I don't have access to real-time data, three articles. We can click this and we can access those three articles. And as we click through the articles that we want to read about, we will once again find ourselves on the page of our needs. In this use case, we once again have a video here, add data to your chart. We can click play, we'll get a full demonstration and walkthrough, and we can scroll down the page to read for more details or see specific screenshots. So the point is when you're on the Help Center, you have many different ways to find the answers you need by using the search box right here. If we wanted to learn about moving averages, we could just type in moving averages. We have the drop down that appears right here. We also have these categories that we've now shown you how to click into. Find the category that is relative to you and then click it and you will get the answers you need. In addition, as you scroll down the page, you're going to see some popular questions. So for example, if you were interested in accessing extended hours data, well, we can just follow these popular questions and click that article. And once again, a beautiful video right here front and center. And as we move down, some wonderful text and even some moving images as well to show us exactly how to access such tools. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the basics of the Help Center. Now, before we get to some other key topics, like clicking into my support tickets to see the support tickets we've opened, or even going down to the bottom here to showing you some of these other features that are connected to the Help Center, we want to head over to the super charts because now is the time to show you how to open up the Help Center from the chart. Many of you are on the chart. You are doing research and analysis on the symbols and assets that you follow. And you can get to the Help Center by clicking this little question mark icon at the bottom right. In addition, if you'd rather access it a different way, you can click your profile image at the top left. And once again, you'll see Help Center. Go ahead and click. Now you can see here you have your chart open and the Help Center open, which means you can do both at the same time. You can find your answers while having your chart open. So as an example, say we have a question about a specific drawing tool that we were not able to find in all of these drawing tool articles. What we would then do is open our help center like this. We would click my support tickets and then we would click contact us. Now, once we've clicked contact us, we're going to be connected with the TradingView support team. In this case, we've got James B here and he says, hey there, select a category below and I'll help. So remember, we are asking about the drawing tools. So because we're asking about the drawing tools and because they're on the chart, what we're going to do is find a relevant topic that we want to select. We have chart, but we also have drawings. So let's click drawings because this isn't necessarily about the chart. As we said, it's about drawings. So we click drawings and just like that, it has now been sent to the training view support team. And now they want us to describe the problem in detail. So in this message box, we would type in great detail what's going on. 
Remember, the more you type, the better and more helpful it is to the TradingView support team. Give them every detail you need. In addition, you can attach an image. So take a screenshot of the problem or question and get that image in here because the text you write here and the screenshot you attach is going to get you an answer faster because it will just be that much more clear. In addition, we've got this checked because we want to make sure the TradingView team knows that it's okay to attach a snapshot of the TradingView, our, our TradingView in this case, to the support team so that they can get a real-time look at what happened. They can actually see our TradingView to see what's going on. When we're ready, we click open support ticket and just like that we've opened a support ticket from the chart now when you're ready your support tickets will look like this you'll see them right here we've only opened up two support tickets in the last two years but here's a great example we opened up a support ticket here on may 31st 2023 we wrote out our details here we've got the images attached the page attached and we're in our conversation with james b and by the time we wrapped up the conversation, he got us the exact data we needed right here, which is just fantastic. And by the way, keep in mind that sometimes James B. needs a little time to respond. So we got in contact with him on the day of or the day after, June 1st. He got us an answer. He let us know he was looking into it. And by June 2nd, we had all the details that we needed. So that is the process of opening up a support ticket. And more importantly, it's, it's how it all connects to the help center as well. Now, before you open support tickets, always keep in mind that we have these tools here. Do not forget, if we click drawings, we may just find our answer right here. This says, I'd like to learn more about various drawing tools. We can click. We've got 64 articles here about every single drawing tool on TradingView and that means you can learn about all of these tools just by clicking the exact drawing tool that is relevant to you. So we click Anchored VWAP. Once again, we've got a video. So you can sit back and watch a detailed video about Anchored VWAP. It will cover everything. As you scroll down, you're going to see this text as well and these images. And you are quite literally now entering into not only the platform demonstration of TradingView, but also to some respects how to just get started because you're learning this new tool, especially if you're new to TradingView. And if you're a paid member, Remember, this is really going to come to you with great power because paid members get priority support and this direct customer support as well. Now we've got some more features down here. We promised we would show you these. We've got the free user fact, keyboard shortcuts, what's new, feature requests on Reddit, PineScript Q&A on Stack Overflow, PineScript user manual, real-time updates, and a status page. That's right. Click this button if you want to know the status of TradingView. If you think TradingView.com is down, come to the Help Center and click the status page because it's possible it's not down and maybe there's something just going on with your internet connection. You need to clear your cache or browser. The status page will tell you the current status of the whole TradingView ecosystem and whether it's up or not. Most of the time, 90 plus percent, 99 percent of the time it is up. So just follow this right here. By the way, if you have feature requests, we have a Reddit community. Over 50,000 Redditors are on it. Click this to go ahead and get access to those Redditors. In addition, we've got some social accounts. You'll see us around the web, 700,000 followers, a million followers. We are crossing 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. You can get all of that information as well from the Help Center. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that this video demonstration helped you, and we hope that you now know how to access the Help Center and how to get the answers you need. Thanks for watching.